Youth Wing Kiru non-state allies non-state opponents the Oromo Liberation Front as an Ethiopian political party established in 1973 by Oromo nationalists to promote self-determination for the Oromo people inhabiting today's Oromia state and Oromia zone in Amhara region territory the OLF has offices in Addis Ababa Washington DC and Berlin from where it operates Amhara and Oromo radio stations The Oromo Liberation Army or OLA was for many years the armed wing of the OLF from which it split tactically from OLF in April 2018 refusing the 2018 peace agreement that the OLF made with the federal Ethiopian government The OLA was accused of responsibility for several massacres during 2018 to 2020 in 2021 during the Tigray war A division of the ENDF and EDF left Tigray region and arrived in Oromia region to fight against the Ola. According to Freedom Friday, the Oromo remained independent until the last quarter of the 19th century, when they lost their sovereignty and were colonized by Abyssinia. Oppression was harsh under the imperial rule of Haile Selassie, of the Amhara ethnic group. Under the Haile Selassie regime, Oromo was banned from education. and use in administration the amhara culture dominated throughout the eras of military and monarchic rule both the haile selassie and the derg government relocated numerous amharas into southern ethiopia where they served in government administration courts church and even in school where oromo texts were eliminated and replaced by amharic the abyssinian elites perceived the oromo identity and languages as an obstacle to the expansion of Ethiopian national identity in 1967 the regime of Haile Selassie I outlawed the Mekka and Taluma self-help association and later instigated a wave of mass arrests and killings of its members and leaders prominent military officer and leader of the association colonel general Tadas Biru was also arrested this reaction by the regime had been caused by the popularity of the organization among the Oromos and its links to the Bail Oromo resistance movement one of the association's members Hussein Sora escaped to Somalia in 1967 he and other Oromo refugees formed a rebel group called the Ethiopian National Liberation Front of which he was named secretary general the ENLF soon moved to Yemen and began training members of the Oromo diaspora the first attempt to enter the country was commanded by Jarrah Aba Gada but it failed when Somali security forces tracked down the members and arrested them trying to enter Ethiopia through northern Somalia. The second attempt proved to be more successful and the second group of rebels made camp in the Cherchere Mountains. At this point, the group decided to operate under the name of Oromo instead of Ethiopia. In 1973, the political situation of the country had changed and the Ethiopian military had ousted the Imperial regime and taken control. Leaders and members of the MTSHA, who had escaped arrest, had been operating secretly within the country by stirring up activism through underground newspapers such as Kenar Bekta and the Oromo Voice Against Tyranny. They organized a secret conference which was attended by Hussein Sora, Elamo Kiltu, and various other Oromo leaders. It was during this conference that the Oromo Liberation Front was officially formed and its first political program was first written out. The armed Oromo units in the Cherchere Mountains were adopted as the military wing of the organization, the Oromo Liberation Army or OLA. The Oromo Liberation Army in the Cherchere Mountains was placed under the command of Hassan Ibrahim, more commonly known as Elamo Kiltu, in 1974. The Ola increased its activities in the mountains and caused much alarm amongst the administrators of the region especially when they killed the notorious landowner Mulatu Tegegan. The military regime of Ethiopia then sent General Getachu Shibeshi to destroy the insurrection. On September 6, 1974, the first Oromo Liberation Army was obliterated by mortar fire in the Battle of Tiro in which they lost both Ahmad Taki and Elamo Kiltu. Only three Ola soldiers survived. In an attempt to subjugate any further Oromo uprising, the Derg instigated mass arrests and killings in the surrounding urban areas of where the Ola had operated, particularly in the cities of Jelemsa, Badesa, 
Mechara, Boke, and Balbaliti. After the short lived guerrilla war, the OLF became even more disorganized and a few of its leaders moved back to Aden in order to restructure the organization but to no avail. General Tadis Biru, who had escaped from prison, continued an armed struggle in the Shewa region of the Oromo nation along with Heluri Gassa. They were eventually captured and executed in 1976 but his Ola contingent continued fighting and gained an influx of recruits after the executions. By 1976, the Oromo Liberation Army had taken up a stronghold in the Cherchere Mountains and this was used as an opportunity 